So, folks, when this whole saga started, I decided to break out my Blu-ray edition of Magic Mike in Celebration. However, it appears that the Celebration was for naught, because Matthew McConaughey rules out a run for the Texas governorship, quote, at this moment. <laughs> what? So this is just a way to get into the headlines again. Yeah, I'm not going to run right now. Well, okay, what about later? Are you going to run later? We'll find out, but let's read. So, folks, this is on top of recently there was a poll done that showed Matthew McConaughey was beating Governor Abbott in Texas and Beto O'Rourke was losing epic style. That was a poll that came out like this week or last week, I guess this week just started. Uh, where Beto was losing by, like, five points, but Matthew was winning by, like, seven, you know? And so, uh, and again, any excuse to watch Magic Mike, like, let's be honest. If anyone hasn't seen Magic Mike, I hi highly recommend watching the film, 10 out of 10. That being said, let's read. Hollywood actor Matthew McConaughey announced Sunday that he will not run for Texas governor at this moment. Ending months of speculation that the Dallas Buyers Club and dazed and confused actor would enter the state's political scene. Also, again, star of Magic Mike, but let's go on. As a simple kid born, I don't care, since at least last year, McConaughey has publicly flirted with the idea of running for governor, at times saying he was seriously considering it, while also saying he was unsure if his future was in politics. Personally, I think he should have been in Magic Mike too, but that's just, you know, <laughs> you could watch Magic Mike with no sound. No sound required. I am not until I am, McConaughey told NPR last month. <laughs> what the fuck does that mean? All right. McConaughey's announcement comes ahead of the state's December 13th filing deadline and two weeks after Democrat Beto O'Rourke, a former congressman who ran for president and lost and Senate and lost, announced his bid to unseat the GOP incumbent Gov, Greg Abbott. The primary election will take place on March 1st. So, even as he considered a run, McConaughey gave few clues about what kind of leader he would be, the self-described philosopher, poet, statesman. Lord have mercy. Imagine, like, imagine, like, you know, he wins, right? And then he goes, magic mic mode. Right? Just hops up on the table, takes his clothes off. Hey, I'm just saying. Like, I'm just throwing that out there. Uh, that's the only reason I would support Matthew McConaughey. In fact, I was going to move to Texas just to vote for this motherfucker. Seems like that's not a good idea anymore. Earlier this month, McConaughey drew attention after he said he would not mandate vaccinating young children against the coronavirus. I didn't, I didn't see that part. I didn't see that part. Oh, no? That's no good. Well, and that his two youngest hadn't been immunized. Oh, no. <laughs> no. 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 But McConaughey's vague political profile could work disadvantage should he decide to run for public office. I mean, he's got two more weeks. Traditional political folk will criticize him by saying that nobody knows where he stands. I mean, he can stand on me anytime. Uh, but anyway... I don't care about Matthew McConaughey. I've made all my Magic Mike jokes. That's it. He's not running. And uh, go watch Magic Mike and take some drugs while you watch that and uh, enjoy yourself because it's a great movie. Uh, so that's all I have to say.